Alright, now the final topic of the video, which is slot ports. As you can see, here's a DD512D, which is the same driver used in the other ported boxes, but this time, instead of it being a round port, it's going to be an internal slot port. You can see here, we've got a 10 by 30 centimeter port with a length of 80 centimeters. And this comes out with a tuning of about 30 hertz in a 100 liter enclosure. So we can see a 3.1 cubic foot, 100 litre volume, 48 square inch port area, 300 square centimetres, and 80 centimetres port length. So this ratio right here is right on the 16 square inches per cubic foot. So what do we have to do next? We've got to work out the port displacement. So here we've got three decimeters up here by one decimeter, so an area of three de square decimeters by 8 decimeter length, which is how long the port is, and we get a volume of 24 litres. Now of course, so we can't just have this volume of air floating in there, we need a bit of baffling in order to create the port. So here we've got a port length of 8 decimeters also, a thickness of 0.2 decimeters, and a height of 3 decimeters. When we plug all this in, we get a volume of 4.8 litres for the wood displacement. So the wood thickness, by the way, is 20, or 20 mil or 2 centimetres. So the total volume for the port is 28.8 litres. So the box needs to be designed with an extra 29 litres, as well as at least being 90 centimetres deep in order to fit the port as well as a bit of air at the end of it so it can work its way around the corner into the enclosure. So since we've already got a 100 litre box, 129 litre total, and for the sake of rounding, we're just going to make it 130 litres. So for the first example, we're going to go off a box width internally. Once again, these are all internal numbers of 100 centimetres, a box height internally of 30 centimetres, which leads a front area of 30 square decimetres. The box depth is volume divided by area, so 130 litres divided by 30 litres per decimeter gives us 4.33 decimeters of depth, so a 43 centimeter deep enclosure internally. So this is the net that we're left with. We can see that 10 decimeter width, 3 height, 4.3 depth when we add the port to it, it looks something like this. We can see that we've got a 20 centimeter overhang due to it being an 8 decimeter long port and it being a 10 decimeter wide box you can see that we've got a 20 centimeter gap which is plenty if it was only 10 centimeters of gap then you might want to consider putting a 45 in now for the next example our front port so now the port is on the front of the box instead of the side which is this case here it's now going to be on the same face as the driver I could fit the driver on this face also but for this example we're going to have a front port with a box width of 60 centimeters and a box height of 30. So the front's now got an area of 18 square decimeters. The depth of the box is the same equation, 130 except divided by 18 instead of divided by 30, which leaves us with a depth of 7.2 decimeters. Now, you can probably notice a bit of a problem with this, which is an 8 decimeter port will not fit in a 7.2 decimeter deep box. So how do we deal with this problem? You can put a corner in it. You can just put a corner in the port. So here we can see that if our port width is 10 centimeters, we need a gap at the top here, which is also 10 centimeters, in order for the port to remain the same width which means that even though this is a 72 centimeter long box, we can only fit 62 centimeters of port right here. So for this corner here, it needs to be 45 degrees, or it could be a perfect curve, but an ideal compromise, which is fairly simple, is just a 45 degree angle, which is about the port width of 10 centimeters. If it was 14 centimeters, which would be this complete diagonal, it would create a choke here of only about 7 centimeters, which isn't ideal. So this corner here, in terms of port length, this does add length to the port, and it adds roughly the width of the port divided by 2. So this one adds 5 centimeters. Since the port width is 10 centimeters, this corner here adds about 5 centimeters, 
which means since the total port length has to be 80 centimeters, here we've got 62 centimeters plus five, so we've got 67 centimeters. We need 13 more for this side here. That's what we've got. So in regards to displacement, the corner displacement here is about an area of a third of a square decimeter and a depth of three decimeters. So this is about one liter. You also save about 0.3 liters by this port being shorter. So the difference is 0.7 liters. Not much of a difference at all. I would call this negligible and I wouldn't bother extending the box in any direction in order to get that volume of air back as at this point it really doesn't matter. And now of course uh, this example here uh, for these two examples these are just the insides of the box. I've only been working on the internal dimensions. What you need to do now is the standard process of constructing wrapping the entire thing with wood and adding the side panels and adding the double baffle all that is not in this this is purely internal dimensions and it has all the parts of that accounted for so something you'd need to do is either use a router with a flush trim bit or a jigsaw or other techniques in order to cut out this opening for the port but other than that, this is a perfectly reasonable uh, ideal ratio slot port. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you learnt something. I uh, know that the decimeters might be a bit to think about, uh, might be a bit intense, uh, but they really help me design boxes. I haven't seen them used before, so this is probably the first time you've seen them used as well. But if you did enjoy and learn something, uh, consider hitting the like button. Uh, good feedback, I appreciate uh, subscribe as well for more similar content, uh, leave a comment uh, about certain opinions you might have, and share the video. Often people, I see people say that I deserve more views, well one easy way to get me more views is to share it with your friends who are also interested in designing their own sub box. The more we can get in the DIY community, uh, the more money there is circulating, the more innovation we see in it, so it's only a positive thing. But yeah, thanks for watching and see ya.